the northern region and the regional police command are on a manhunt for 15 suspects who attacked the Dekema Palace the early hours of Monday. It has not been confirmed what led to the attack, but five persons, including the Dekema chief, were shot in the attack. It is alleged that the incident took place after the talking drum was beating in the palace on Monday morning, an action that signifies that the Dekema is the chief of the area. There has been seeming tension in the Tamale metropolis over who is the chief of Tamale. Recently, the Yana passed a verdict on who is the chief of Tamale and asked the Dakema not to hold himself as such. A group of people on a Toyota pickup, white in color, raided the palace, fired indiscriminately, and then the chief was hurt. Uh, as we speak, uh, five people sustained gunshot wounds. The chief was hurt himself, and they are currently at the hospital. That is a Tamil teaching hospital undergoing treatments. Superintendent Ananga further revealed that they have declared a manhunt to get the 15 suspects mentioned in the attack arrested. When we start making the arrest, as we are about to do now, and, and also trying to conduct joint police military uh, patrols within the city, we are still getting more information, uh, which we think that we may not like to share just so openly like that, because we have suspects to arrest, and we have declared manhunts, or we have declared um, a kind of police military tracking of those suspects that we believe are involved. And we will make sure that we get them arrested uh, in due course. All right, now let's have a conversation on this. Our correspondent from the northern region, Noah Nash, joins me. Noah, thank you very much for joining us. What update do you have for us? Uh, this morning we had the Dapima family uh, apparently engaging the media in respect to the, uh, yesterday's incident where uh, 50 men attacked the palace. And in their press conference this morning, uh, one of the major calls they made was the fact that they want the police to have an independent investigation done in this particular attack. They want politicians and opinion leaders within the metropolis to stay away from the work of the police because they feel that their interference would meddle, uh, their meddling in that uh, particular crisis will actually not get the sad results that the public wants to get from this particular attack that actually was envisaged upon the Dapima family. And so they believe strongly that there's no need for any opposition to engage in those discourse and then to make sure that the people who actually committed the crime are left off the hook. So they will also be watching carefully and they will assist the police in that regard. Okay, but what, what is the situation in the area now? There have been more that uh, since the attack yesterday, there haven't been enough police presence within the palace to actually protect it. Aside the youth uh, who are more of the war leaders who are actually sitting in the palace, uh, they are the ones protecting it, but other palaces within the metropolis have been protected and they feel uh, that that is not fair, that is not right. And so the mood within the palace is quite a bit very solemn. It's not that one that one can say that it's not really too good, but it's better because uh, a good news that has come to all of them this morning is the fact that the chief is doing very well at the hospital, and therefore, as long as he's responding, that gives them a better uh, hope that the chief will return back to the palace. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, Noah Nash is our Northern Regional Correspondent.